Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here at 9 a.m. This is the Tiger Financial News Network market update. Uh, the Dow closed at 36,432, just off its all-time high yesterday. I got it in leg F, and this says, from here, you've got to be a little bit careful. Let's see what happens. The YM, the futures, are just down a little bit, down 46, and we're going to be watching this closely because if later in the day, my belief is that if later in the day, the Dow is not more than 40 or 50 points higher after 2 o'clock, but in fact, is down 40 or 50 points more, it says, yep, probably getting, having a little bit of a consolidation here, and it's kind of rotating let me explain why because if you look at the s p the s p the futures are um, up about two points right now the s p did not make a new high yesterday also i'm high the high of friday was 47 1850 we'll see if it's able to get above that today but these little doji candles are just suggesting a little bit of tiredness right there and you've got that repellent zone chapman wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart so let's see what happens it'll take a big spike to the upside to really break all these uh, slightly negative things right now but this is the issue that i'm looking at here the qqq Trading at a pre-market at 399.32 made a peak C, and we're always expecting four higher peaks D, and that should be above 400.99. You go to 401, that's SARS leg D, and then we're going to watch it closely. So that's the QQQs, the IWM, Russell, uh, 2000, down 57 cents after leading the pack to, the, to an all-time high yesterday. There again, we're going to watch it gold. Gold is up uh, 3 at 1831. It's had a really good move to the upside. It's about to get to strong resistance in the 1830s. Let's see how it can handle that because the dollar is pulling back just a little bit. Um, it's up two ticks at 94.06 after that high that was made just a few days ago in the 94.60s. So we're watching that. Now, the TLT, this is really important. The TLT is bonds, Lehman 20 year Treasury bond fund. It's up 2.06 right now, 151.08. This is really good. It means that yields are starting to pull back. And the other thing we're looking at is crude oil. Crude oil made a, a, at least a shorter term top on the 25th of October at 85.41. And now it's pulling back, making low lows and lower highs. Can it break out into the 84s? That's the big question. So stay tuned. You've got Tommy O'Brien coming up. And this is the Market Kickoff Show, wonderful show. And then you'll get my show that was recorded 8 to 9 at 10 o'clock. And 11 o'clock, Larry Pesavento. Next week, I believe Larry's got his uh, all-day workshop. Then you've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Have a wonderful day. And once again, happy birthday, Tom O'Brien. Thanks for everything you've done for all of us here at TFNN.